we find ourselves exploring in the Exumas at a little island called Prime Key before we pick up anchor once more and make our way to Rudder Cut Key where we experience strong currents, find our anchor chain stuck under a rock, and snorkel our first underwater sculpture. We are Paige and Daniel traveling with our great Dane Winston to discover what lies beyond the horizon. I'm going to turn off our anchor and we'll turn it on when we get back to the boat. Whoop. We're getting pretty shallow now. Yeah. Daniel just had to tilt the. Tilt in a little bit. There's a trail over there, so that's why we're coming over to this beach. There's a few others that are around this area, but I think we wanted to hit up the trail and see what that was all about. About calf deep. Oh. Winston, you ready? Let's, Let's go. go. So I think Winston is super excited to be on land. He tried it all the way to a dry spot of sand so he could go potty. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a nice walk today. Good oh boy. Yes. end up uh, walking, wading to more water uh, when we get to the boat, so we'll see. Daniel had an epic fall. I did not have an epic fall. I had an epic get pulled over by a giant dog running full speed. Yeah, yeah, that that, that happened. I felt a pop. I think I might have pulled a ligament in my knee. We are exploring Prime Key this morning. Where I think the trail is that way. Well, let's go see. back to the dinghy and see if we can make our way. Looks like it, it's pretty deep on this side, so we might be able to... Going, going. Yeah. Up that way is going to be the, uh, the the shore. Yeah. The, the other shore. Yeah. <laughs> we say we just drift back. I think that's probably a good idea. I have an idea. We could take out the drone and see if we can find the trail there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And then all that right there is rocks. Yeah. 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 If if you want to. Yeah. Let's give it. We can pop them off. We try to live by the leave no trace philosophy, especially when enjoying these beautiful Bahamian islands. Leave no trace means to leave a minimal or no impact to the environments that we visit. This means we leave shells where we find them, we pack out our trash, and we only use established trails. A little baby conch. Oh, there he is. This helps us keep the area beautiful so you can enjoy it just as much as we do when you visit these special places. Well, after a uh, scouting, mission? scouting mission, uh, I don't see any trail. Okay. So I don't, uh, maybe the Navionics is wrong, that, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really see much of a trail. So, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous little place. I 
think he had fun? I think so. He's tired. Yeah. Oh, look how tired he is. Tired bumpers. Efforts to oh keep Winston and our home free of salt and sand, we dip Winston into his dog dock to remove yeah, the sand stuck to his body, and then do a freshwater rinse to keep the salt water from irritating his skin. I love Winston, but these are the uh, perils of having a rather large, rather blind, happy dog. Yeah, feels like a sprain, but sprain me, put some ice on it, and have some rum. It'll be fine. Problem is, he's drinking water and I think we're out of rum. But we have whiskey and tequila, so we can make do. Engine checks are complete. Yeah. Turn on and get going whenever we'd like. Winston, time to get hooked up. He's got to get going. So now it's time to get off this anchor and we're going to head to Rudder Kiki. It's supposed to be a really nice snorkeling opportunity. So let's, uh, let's get out of here while we still have some high tide. Grover's off. You can begin pulling it up. We have 20 on deck. So go ahead and pull her up. There she is. She's off the ground. She's hanging out in the sand, so we are loose. You can pull her up. There we go. And just like that, we're off. We are on our way to Rudder Cut Key and to hopefully do some snorkeling. It should be a very light wind kind of day. Uh, this is super shallow coming in, so we're only an hour after the high tide, which is actually higher than what we were last high tide when we came in. So this should be, this should be pretty straightforward. We can't see really great because it is so early in the morning. So Daniel has the track from when we came in. So he's going to follow that track right on out and we should be golden. We're going slow. So if we hit anything, it's just going to, it's mostly sand around here. There is, I think some rock over that way, but uh, yeah, should be fine. I should probably get back to paying attention when I'm going. <laughs> There's just a few rollers coming in. That's not unexpected. We're on the outgoing tide right now with a little bit of uh, incoming wind. Once we get past this cut, it won't be so bad. Oh, these rollers are pretty big. Yep, I'm I'm a holding. Oh man. That was intense. It didn't last long, but golly, that was a lot. There was a time where that would have scared the living bejesus out of us. What do you mean there was a time? <laughs> we're getting better though. We're feeling a lot better about it. So I was just about to ask Daniel if we were going to deploy our sails for the day uh, for this little hop up the coast. Uh, but then I noticed the apparent wind speed. Pull well, one knot. And you see how it's just circling around like that? Yeah, there is no, yeah, there's no wind out here right now. The, the chart indicates that rudder cut T cut is one of the more spicy in, uh, in the Exumas. So if you have winds of 10, 15 knots opposing the tide, um, standing waves of four to five feet are not uncommon. But luckily it is a very, very light wind day. We are going to be going a against the tide coming into the cut. So not ideal. I don't see any breakers going through the cut, but I do see breakers on the rocks next to the cut, which is fairly normal. So I'm not really too concerned about that, but the, the, the different thing is, is that we're going against the current, um, but it, it shouldn't, it's not that much of a difference. I don't know, right? Going against current is a big difference. What am I talking about? The charts here do say strong current, 
and this is the uh, the outgoing tide on what is essentially a spring tide, so it's going to be kind of strong. Three days until the new moon, so it's close to the new moon. It's not quite that spring tide, though. Details. Tell me what you're doing, babe. You're going off our run line. Yeah, I am. Uh, the waves are taking us in this direction, and it wants me to go out that way, then come this way, which would then put all these big rollers on our beam, which doesn't make sense to me. Um, so I'm basically kind of cutting the corner, using the waves to my advantage, bring us in as close as we can directly into the cut uh, with as much speed and comfort as possible. But we're not going to get too close to that rocky, no. that rocky bar? No, 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 no. Okay. I just don't want to get pushed into something that we shouldn't be pushing into. I agree. I'm going to move forward. Put on your headset. Yep. This is fine. Woo. Down the three and a half knots right now. Coming in. Two and a half. Not a lot of steerage. If we need to turn around, we can. Tell you what, I'm nervous. Oh, we're only going you know, one knot. All right, so we're surfing the waves. That's cool. We're just surfing, surfing in. All right, how are we on clearing the the depth of this uh, rocky? So we're not gonna hit that rock. Good deal. We still have current going against the rudders, so we still have steerage. So we're making headway, and we still have a moderate control of the vessel while we're only going a knot and a half. Wow, I'm actually shaking. This is like the first time. Like, I haven't been this nervous in a while. Yeah, we were flying around at six knots and coming up on this key, we're fighting it at one and a half. Oh good, 2.2. Picking up some speed. Look at us, little speed demons coming through the cut. That was not my idea of fun. I'm still shaking. I do not like that Sam I am. I would not do that on a boat. I would not do that with a goat. I would not do that with a moose. I'd rather have my private parts picked at by a goose. Yeah, it was, it was no fun for anybody, but Daniel did a stellar job. Oh, the water is like super dark, but super clear. But we made it. So anchor on the starboard side of this catamaran up here. Oh, and just to let you know, this cut, the not not the one that we're looking at right here, but this next big one here, that's where the the snorkeling is. So they're just pulling out, and that is where we're gonna drop because this is a great spot. Before we go out exploring today. We're gonna have some breakfast. Now I never make breakfast. This is usually Daniel's thing. Since he hurt his leg yesterday, I am making breakfast, so he is walking me through it. All right, get your get your fishy spat. My fishy spat. Now stir it up like you're making scrambled eggs. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Like, like yeah, I'm making yeah, scrambled eggs. Yeah, like you're making scrambled eggs. Get it all mixed up there. All right. Yeah, leave it alone. Now step numb. Even it out. Give it a pan of jiggle. Make sure it's all evened out. Yep, there you go. Right, now, add your teeth. You want it in the middle or just all, all over? All over. Okay. And now? Now let it sit and let it cook. Okay. Got a few, though. Get the pan up spin. Yeah. Got it. Make sure everything's nice and loose. Yep. Cheese is melting. Do so I push it to one side and then flop it? More or less, over? yeah. Push like it that? Down. Yep. And then I flop it? Yep. Just keep pushing it to the other side. Push it down. Push it down to the other Push side. Push it down? Yeah. And, and then flop it? Yeah. Tilt your pan, let it flop. Yeah. Whoa! Now I'm losing right, Kill your heat. Okay. Killing the heat. I can't flop it. How do you do this so nicely? <laughs> That's pretty good. Leave that alone. That looks so sad. So sad. I kind of keep the pan tilted so that the the, the flop is at the at the, the back of the pan and then you kind of oh, just now you tell me that's what i was trying to tell you but now he tells me there we go that looks beautiful that's perfect yeah 
What were you worried about? Hmm. So people have been wondering what we eat when we're on the boat. So yes, today we're having omelets and bacon, uh, lots of bacon. What's wrong? Change it or a rock. Oh no. Yeah, let's see if I can go fix it. Okay. Uh, Daniel went down and found that we are sitting under a rock. We are wrapped up on a rock. Yeah. So we have to unwrap ourselves and find somewhere else. Yeah. It's a nice place for breakfast though. Yeah, that's great, great. I see the, the dark spot that is the rock, but I don't see where the chain goes after that. Okay, I, I see I see the chain now. It, we were just wrapped up once on that chain. Okay, so we should be able to back up away from it, right? So the rock is right here at the bow. Okay, so the chain is pulling out in front of us. Yeah, the rock is way out there now. And we should start backing down again once we extend the full. Yep, there we go, backing down. So let's pick her up. I'm sorry, since we're moving, we can go wherever we want. Are you stopped? All right, bring her up. Okay, oh, hold up there. All right, backing down. There she goes, she's tied out of the water. Pulling good. I'm gonna put the Grover on. All right, now uh, let's go dive that anchor and make sure that we're not gonna get wrapped around any other bombies. Anchor check, take two. <laughs> Much better. Yeah, it's just pure sand all over the place. So, call that a win. <sighs> and we have lunch. So now we're loading up the dinghy with the Winston and we are going to see if we can go snorkeling. We're all done. starting to grow on that. Pretty neat looking. Yeah, I would have probably stayed a little longer, honestly. I could have just kept going down and coming back up and going down and coming back up. It was deep though. My ears were like, ah. I'm a little tired. Uh, my knee kind of hurts from yesterday whenever Winston tackled me. Uh, it was a solid tackle, legitimate, you know, no penalty. <laughs> but, uh, and then, you know, trying to mess around with the anchor this morning and diving down and messing with that. So I'm a little, I'm a little tired. So yeah, Winston does that. And as soon as we turn the camera on, he's done. It's like he knows. And just like that, another day is done. A day it has been. Oh. Yeah, it's been a great few days, really. Exciting, scary. <laughs> but yeah. 
that. Yeah. He's a good boy. It's our boat boots. <laughs> he is.